What's going on? We back. Mostly sports talk. Talking some Michigan football. Yeah, we do talk college. Got to implement a little bit more college this year. It was hectic last year, so talk a little bit more Michigan, Michigan State as well. Um, Shea Patterson is supposed to be uh, touchdown Jesus in Ann Arbor. <laughs> For everybody to know who touchdown Jesus is in Ohio. But, um, you know, they got a lot of, uh, you know, faith in Shea Patterson. I'm a faithful Michigan fan since I can remember. I'm going to Michigan State, never could convert me. It's never going to happen. It's always about the amazing blue. And, um, you know, seemed last year, you know, William Spate, you know, <laughs> tried to hand the Florida game over, ended up getting injured. Uh, or Corn was worse than that, and, and Peters wasn't ready. Um, and a quarterback position has been the position of of weakness since Harbaugh got here. Jake Rudock came from Ohio, I mean Iowa, excuse me, and, and did a fine job. But after him, it was just a major drop off. And it seems like we had offensive line problems as well, you know. And you know that used to be a strength of, of not just Michigan but Big Ten. Wisconsin always had great offensive linemen, and Michigan always had great offensive linemen, you know, always, you know. But, you know, they starting to build it back up and get back to Michigan football, and that's in the trenches. You know, back when we had Rich Rodriguez, it was all about, you know, trying to, you know, speed, have speed and run the option and trying to match up and, and do what, 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 you know, the other teams was in Florida was doing and stuff of that nature, but... Um, well, Harbaugh, he got to get back to to hat on hat f- uh, football, uh, building in the trenches, and he can recruit because guess what? Anybody can recruit in Michigan. Michigan recruits itself. It, it, it makes no sense, you know, that Michigan State can keep up, you know, and, and keep you know up with us, and they get our leftovers. You know, they get the scraps, and that just shows you how good of a coach Mike D'Antoni. Uh, Mike D'Antonio is, or D'Antoni, whatever his name is. I don't care about the green guy, but, um, you know, he's he's a good coach. Though. I will give uh, D'Antoni his, his just due. Um, but, you know, will Shea Patterson say today? You don't know. They got uh, McCaffrey, you know, Christian McCaffrey, Ed McCaffrey, uh, I believe his son uh, as a quarterback. He's entering as a sophomore. They got Joe Milton, you know, highly recruited guy out of uh, Florida. I think he's like a four or five star quarterback. So, you know, they have some depth at quarterback and talent, and and I, I I find it very very interesting to see how that plays out. They got the exception for Shea Patterson. I watched Shea Patterson last year, not even knowing that, you know, he was going to potentially, you know, be in the mix to come to Michigan and get an exception and play right away. And at Ole Miss, he was he was real real good, man. I watched him go to Cal. And and, and, like, and throw some touchdowns at Cal, man. And I think they end up losing that game going out to, to Oakland, California, and losing to them. But he got talent. You know, uh, he got experience. So, you know, that shouldn't be an issue. Just fitting in the system and fitting in, and hopefully Mar- Harbaugh and him can get on the same page because Wolverines got the receivers. That ain't no question. You know, if the offensive line can block and the defense can play like they've been playing, you know, they got the receivers, and they can find a running back. I know Chris Evans, he he get touched, he topple over. But Shea Patterson could play the game. Now, if they can get him to play at a high level with Michigan, you know, it warrants the potential top five, uh, you know, uh, rating that they have in the top 25. It's estimated they'd be five, and Michigan State would be 12. But uh, Harbaugh, you know, he under some semi-heat. You know, people never thought that the Michigan faithful would turn on them, but they haven't really. We haven't really turned on them. We just tired of losing to Ohio State. And you hear what Charles Woodson said says that um, you know, he act like well, he says the players act like they don't care or they they not motivated, and then he starts treating the Ohio State game like a, a big big game, and he don't feel the energy or he don't see the play on the field as a big big game. And every year it feels like a big game. Last year I think it was a little lopsided, but the year before that with JT Berry barely well, didn't get the first down. I don't care what they say. That was a great game, man. That was a really, really electric game. It w- it w- had everything you needed. Um, you know, I think the players do get up for the for the Ohio State game, but when you get to butt kick so many years, I man, how can you go against what Charles Woodson is saying? But um, hopefully Shea Pass can be that secret weapon. Because you don't see that drop off with Urban Myers. It's quarterback at the quarterback at the quarterback. Shoot, they bought a freshman off the bench last year, and he beat us. You know, a freshman. Put him out the deep freezer. So there's no excuse why 
Harbaugh can't recruit these quarterbacks. And the quarterbacks that he's identifying to transfer, like O'Corn and um and Will Spate, he can just kept them. I don't know what he's seen on film from O'Corn. He definitely was garbage, trash, and waste management. And Will Spate just he just sparked out in the Iowa game and just started throwing it away two years ago. But I think Shea Patterson might be a good plug in, man. I know he's trying to get to the league. He got the talent. He got the arm. He got the accuracy. You know, he's a, he's a real, real fine quarterback, man. And if, you know, he, if it's truly a quarterback issue, which it seems about 90% of Michigan issues are quarterback issue, and the coaching is what we believe the coaching is, Michigan should have a good year this year. I'm not sure what their schedule is like. The Big Ten is always treacherous with Michigan State. I, I give them a lot of respect. I just don't. Don't just spit and shit on Sparty, man. What what that what that coach over there did, D'Antoni, you know, what he done with that team and that program, he warrants a lot more praise because a lot of coaches wouldn't even came out alive if they went in, in that, that, that den and got scraps for, for recruits. So you imagine if he goes somewhere and gets some top five recruits or five star recruits or four star recruits, you know, he probably be he probably be damn near right up under Nick Saban, you know what I'm saying? Because he can coach like that, but it's time for Harbaugh to consistently whoop on Michigan State and consistently whoop Ohio State, and they got to start this year. He got his quarterback with Shea Patterson. There's no excuse. No excuse. He got the Caffrey kid behind him, the DeMilton kid behind him, who they say absolutely lit it up at spring camp, at spring camp, uh, in the spring game. The time is not for Michigan, man. Not just be being put in the top five and top ten every year just based off clout and based off reput- reputation. It's time for them to make that move. He got a quarterback. He better coach his ass up, and it's time for them to 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 win the Big Ten at least this year, man. It's it's win the Big Ten a bust. Should be no no other expectations other than winning national championship and win the Big Ten. We gone.